in your sector program, now that we have set the restrictions, click on Overview of Assessments. Select the plus button to create a new assessment. Type in the name of your assessment. Select Grades. And then you have a series of options which you can do. So here is a section with rubrics. I'm going to add a rubric. So I'm going to click on the rubric, select add a line, and I'm going to add five boxes, one for A to E. Then I'm going to go to a rubric I have in a Word document, and I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to pause it now while I do the rest. Then I'm going to add the label. And for the description, that is the task which you'd like students to complete. So I'm just going to copy. And my line description is to research and discuss ethical consideration in RPG role-playing games. I also like to add another line. So I'm going to select add a line. I'm going to pause the video because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my rubric which is in a Word document and I'm going to copy and paste the content across. So now I have my rubric with two lines. Select OK. And because you put that in there, it's always a good idea to select Save. Okay, if we scroll down here, the next one you have is the availability of dates. Now the default is the assessment is hidden. You can leave that as it is until you're ready to release it. You can release the date and title, all details, and then once you've marked, you can release your feedback. The default setting for the date is the day that you're actually creating your assessment. To change the date, select the drop down menu and change the date. Now there are a range of other settings which you as a teacher can choose to add. The first part here is student expectations before they receive their grades. In here, you can have a star rating or feeling. I don't use those because they have emojis which can be inferred differently by different people. What I do like to put in here is a text comment. That allows students to comment on their assessment task when they submit it. It might be their expectations, it might be things they struggled with, or how they think they went with their ass assessment. The next lot of settings are for student reflections post or after they've received their grade. I like to turn the text comment on so students can reflect on the score that you have given them and also reflect on the comments or corrections you may have offered for them. The next lot of settings are to do with submission. If you'd like students to upload their assessment through Sector, you need to select to enable e-submission. WISP submission is if you are going to create a WISP assessment, which will be discussed later in a different video. You have the option to allow submission after the due date and how many days. I turn that off because I expect students to hand it up when it's due. There is the option to allow submission after feedback marks released and the option of turn it in. So if you would like students to put theirs through turn it in, select that option. 
That's just for year 11 and 12 students. The next one is with reporting. We are not currently up to the stage of reporting, so I just leave those on because that will be available in reports. You can turn those off if you choose. You have another feature which is called a checklist of items and it's optional. So if I add a checklist item, you may put things in there like um, make sure you have included a reference list, make sure you have attached an image to support your document and so forth. So it's a checklist that students can look at when submitting. You can add resources here. For example, I've used that in the past when I have wanted students to write a paragraph about a, a problem and I've given them examples of previous students' work as something as a guide. You could put that there. You could put extra resources uh, which support, for example, you may have a scaffold if you're uh, doing a particular style of English or it might be an information report, you can put a scaffold there for students and whatever you'd like to help them. The next section down here is an overview of assessment. That is where you can enter the assessment criteria. I'm going to pause the video because I'm going to now just copy and paste from a Word document. So what I have here is an explanation of the assessment task, the presentation mode, and I've elaborated on it further. Another thing you can add, I've just forgotten, I'll add that in now, with files up here. It is also handy to upload a Word document of your assignment for students if you like. To do that, click Add Files from My Device, search for the file, and upload your file, then select Save.